The attacks in some parts of Kebbi State, according to the lawmaker, have led to humanitarian crisis and untold hardship in the southern senatorial district. The House is worried that the current attack has left many families in disarray and economic activities grounded. Concerned that if no urgent uh, rem remedial and deterrent action is taken to arrest the insensate attack in Kebbi South, it has the capacity to make the area ungovernable, worsen the level of poverty as many social services are already affected, increase the level of illiteracy of the areas due to poor school attendance and disorganized academic calendar, and further worsen the health status of the people and social cohesion in the area as nobody has the ability to sleep with two eyes closed as at now. In a related development, a motion was also moved by the minority leader of the House, Ndudi Elumelu, and the 22-year-old young girl, Oluwaba Mishe Ayomola, who was recently murdered in Lagos. The lawmaker is worried that many of the incessant attacks are underreported in view of the stigma attached to such incidents and molestation when such reports are made. Talk that there are allegations that the BRT driver earlier confessed of having carnal knowledge of late Mrs. Late Miss Bamiche before killing her and harvesting some of her vital organs only for the story to change after some influential Nigerians perceived to have intervened on his behalf. They are therefore worried that according to the Nigerian Stability and Reconciliation Program, approximately 80 million Nigerian women and girls are victims of gender-based violence, which in turn fosters the spread of sexually transmitted diseases such as HIV, lack of self-confidence of victims in most recent cases death, of death. The House therefore resolved to urge the federal government through the Nigerian police and national security and intelligence to fast-track investigation and ensure the killers of Olu Abamishe are brought to justice. Charity Tanko, ITV News, Abuja.